Let's get some app ideas flowing. How can you generate app ideas for products that the market really needs now? Welcome everybody, my name is Dale Richards, CEO of App Creative. We're an app development company on the Silicon Slopes of Utah, and we love building software that changes the world. If you want to create apps, scale your technology, transform your business, and disrupt the market, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell. Whew, it has been a while since we have been on here sharing app ideas with you. We've been building a lot of apps over the last two years, and I have to say, building apps isn't even half the battle. The real concern you need to have if you want to build apps and SaaS products is, does the market need this product? Do my target users feel enough pain that when they are presented with my solution, the answer is a resounding, yes, we need that now. You can spend a lot of time, energy, and money building apps, but if they're the wrong apps with the wrong features, or if you can't market them, no one will pay to use them. So what we're going to do in this video is fish the market for pain points. The first thing we need to do is pick an industry. Now, you could pull an industry out of your head, you know, if you want, or if you're familiar enough with that specific industry. But uh, what if you're like me? <laughs> and you say, well, you know, I just can't think of anything. So here's what I did. I started by searching for random industry generator. I found this random industry generator on perchance.org, which is a useful website for randomly generating just about anything. And I put in the number five to tell the generator how many industry ideas I wanted it to generate. Now, I read through these ideas uh, and I clicked you know, the randomize button a few times until I landed on one that I thought sounded interesting and not completely saturated with other players. So this one, ranching, kind of caught my eye. So then I opened a new tab and searched for ranching industry problems. The first result seemed interesting enough. Cattle industry issues highlight long-term strains. I clicked on that article and read that this rancher's business withstood a cybersecurity attack, severe weather, labor shortages, and a pandemic. Now the two most interesting ideas to me here were cybersecurity and labor shortages. So I opted for the latter and I searched in a new tab for cattle industry labor shortage problems. The first result was from the same website that I was just on. So I skipped that one and then I opened up, you know, uh, result number two, which said labor shortage causing problems in meat industry. I read through the article until I found this excerpt. Currently, Jones, I guess Jones owns a, a meat processing business, said they are looking at 12 to 15 months out for booking processing. Prior to the pandemic, they were at a six week maximum, which he says is a huge change. We need immediate help, said Jones. It's an aging workforce in this industry. A lot of my longtime guys are in their 60s and they'll be retiring soon. It's kind of a dying business in a way, but it's a business that we desperately need. So a potential app could match make ranchers and meat processors with day laborers in today's gig economy, sort of like the Uber of meat processing. So let's add this to our idea log. So for the summary, we'll put meat processing gig economy app. For a description, we'll put uh, pick up a shift, processing meat or doing other agricultural work. Feedback and quality are built into the app experience for employers and workers. And for the problem slash opportunity, we'll put ranchers and meat processors cannot find enough laborers. Their workforce is aging and retiring soon. Processing times have increased from six weeks to 12 to 15 months. And for the user persona, we'll put rancher, meat processing factory owner, slash employer, gig workers. So there you go, an app idea for a market that's in real pain. And you know, how long did that take us? Just a few minutes, really. And we didn't even have an industry picked out when we started. So how cool is that? Okay, now that we have this app idea, we're not just gonna go and build the app. We have to do a lot more market validation uh, and research to confirm that this really is a pain point. And also specifically, what are the features that will create the most gains and really the most pains for our users? So that's what would be up next for this specific idea. Don't just generate an app idea and then go build that app. You need to validate the concept first. If you want to pursue this ranching and meat processing labor gig app idea further, watch this video. Or if you want more app ideas, then watch this video. <laughs> <laughs>